Currently, over 400,000 Fusion and DaVinci Resolve artists, including myself, use Reactor. So if you haven't heard of it, you might be missing out. To install Reactor for DaVinci Resolve Fusion, go to stakeunderwater.com, click on Reactor, and then you just scroll down to the top post and you can click to download the Reactor installer. And then once it's downloaded, simply drag the Lua script onto your node graph in Fusion. That's gonna download everything you need. So now that you know how to install Reactor, today I'm gonna explain why you might even need it or why I use it at least. And then finally, how would you uninstall it? So what's Reactor? It's a free, underscore free, package manager for open source macros, fuses, and plugins that make our creative lives easier. It's about six years old. This is nothing new, so you don't have to worry. This is, this is not going to hurt your computer. And it's chock full of tools that don't exist in a stock install of Resolve, so I consider this a must. It goes on all my machines. If you've ever bought something from AE Scripts or Nukipedia or looked at Matchbox reactors, like the toolkit that you need for DaVinci Resolve Fusion. Since I work as a commercial finishing artist and compositor when I'm not teaching Resolve on YouTube or one-on-ones, some of the reactor tools that I personally find indispensable are Black's Match, and that allows me to color grade black levels to new foreground comp elements to match the original background plate. Regrain, Regrain allows me to add back matching synthetic grain to any sort of new painted element that was denoised, and it uses the difference from the original plate. It's super great. Regrain, uh, Advanced Edge Extend. This one helps me take the original color of a semi-transparent edge and pull it out so that if I had a, a different color background plate to the new background, I can make sure that those blend and look perfectly like they were shot that way originally. So advanced edge extend for that. Smart vectors is crazy, crazy cool. This one is great for cleaning up any sort of non-rigid surface or inserting a graphic on a non-rigid surface. Things like skin, uh, t-shirts, banners, things that you know move. It's kind of like surface tracking but can often work much, much better. That's smart vectors. And then there's Carta VR. This is great for if you get Insta360 footage. And this one in particular for the Insta360 footage, you know, it lets you reframe things. It can be used by editors on the edit page as well. And then there's Checkerboard. Checkerboard is really simple, but it's great to perfectly align your screen certs. And there is just so many more. Now to open Reactor, go to Workspace, down to Scripts, then you'll find a Reactor, and there you can open Reactor with all the tools available. All you have to do to install a specific tool is to click the checkbox, and then if you decide you don't want that tool anymore, you click the checkbox again and it will uninstall it. Or you can batch select the tools and hit Remove. Now, to fully uninstall a reactor on a Mac, sorry, I can't help you Windows users, I, I don't have a Windows test machine, remove the entire reactor folder stored on your Mac library here. This is not in your user folder, this is on your Mac hard drive folder. So we're going to Macintosh HD, Library, Application Support, Blackmagic Design, DaVinci Resolve, Fusion, then you should find your reactor folder, just trash that. But there's also a config file that's in your user folder for resolve that's found here. And then it's the reactor.fu file, just get rid of that. Now, if you're running Fusion Studio, the standalone version, which is awesome, there's two more settings that need to be modified to remove reactor in your settings, but I'm just gonna point you to the uninstalled directions for removing reactors install paths in the description below. And chances are, if you're running Fusion Studio, you're always gonna wanna have Reactor installed anyways. Now, one quick side note is that these directions here to install Reactor assume that you are not running the Mac App Store version of DaVinci Resolve. Just don't use that version. It complicates permissions. It's only gonna make your life a lot more difficult. Get your Resolve install files from the Blackmagic support page. Hey, I'm Chadwick, and I honestly love hearing what, what you're making and what you're struggling with, so please do let me know. And because there's so much more to learn, I'll see you in the next video.